This is the Mercedes-Benz X-Class, and up until now, it's only been available with the engines of its sister trucks. However, this X350D finally comes equipped with Mercedes-Benz's own V6 engine. So we're here today to find out whether X really does mark the spot for pickup trucks. It might come as no surprise to you, but developing a car totally from scratch by yourself is expensive, and especially if you don't have previous expertise in that particular segment. Well, manufacturers share platforms and parts all the time. It helps create good economies of scale and pick the brains of those who know best. That's exactly what Mercedes-Benz did with the X-Class when they teamed up with Renault and Nissan to create this new pickup. It might share commonality with the Nissan Navara, but one look at this Merc pickup and it's definitely posh spice as opposed to scary spice. That big, bold grille has been a Mercedes-Benz DNA trait since day dot. And other pieces of bodywork, including the flared arches to encompass the truck's new widened track, certainly give it a more premium look than a Navara. You will still spot some similar architecture, but there's no denying that the X-Class appears much more upmarket, especially in the specification of this test car with all of its polished chrome. Now, in addition to visual enhancements, Mercedes-Benz has also thoroughly reworked the suspension and steering setup of the vehicle. But exclusive to this X350D is Mercedes-Benz's own tried and tested turbocharged V6 engine, which is really the thing we've been waiting for because the previous units you could have were Renault units and they were good, they were fine, but they weren't anything exemplary. This unit, with 255 brake horsepower and 406 pounds-feet of torque, certainly delivers the extra grunt that we were looking for. It has a 3.5 tonne towing capacity, and I have to say, it's got plenty of get-up-and-go for the size of vehicle that it is. When fully laden, that additional torque makes all of the difference, but the Merc engine also has the additional benefit of being much more refined. When you get up to a cruise, it sort of melts away into the background, creating a much more car-like atmosphere in here. The X350D comes exclusively with permanent all-wheel drive, which is connected to this 7-speed automatic gearbox. It's pretty good, actually. It slushes along quite nicely, blends its changes. I have to say, on the paddles, it's maybe a little slower than you'd like, but leave it in auto, and it's perfectly happy to get on with the task at hand. We have a locking differential as an option in the X350D, of which this model has, and that means that the car is plenty capable off-road. This one is further enhanced with optional off-roading suspension, giving it 20mm extra ground clearance. Off-road, it certainly tussles with the best of them, just like its sister car, the Navara, and the low range element in the gearbox means it's plenty capable of pulling itself up and over obstacles that may be in your way. But while all the rough and tumbles going on outside, you'll find yourself in a pretty serene environment. As I've mentioned, the engine's quite muted, but also this interior is very familiar to anyone who's been in Mercedes-Benz cars. Okay, the infotainment display now is a generation behind in comparison to say something like a C-Class, but the general curvature of the dashboard, these nice chrome-touched vents, even the steering wheel straight out of a Mercedes-Benz car, and it's all in a bid to detract from the sort of hardcore commercial element of a pickup truck. Is this a proposition you could live with every day? Quite possibly. I mean, it's got that nice high driving position that everybody's seeking an SUV wants, but also you've got these supportive seats. There's seating for five. Yeah, it's something that certainly makes driving quite comfortable, and that reworked suspension is great at soaking up lumps and bumps. It's definitely one of the best in class in terms of ride comfort. There's still a little bit of patter whenever the load bed's empty, which, you know, that's what you get with pickups. It's just the way the suspension's calibrated so it can take the weight whenever you have got something heavy in the back. But generally speaking, it's really quite impressive. Very serene thing to drive on lengthy journeys. There are a few questionable hard plastics dotted around the cabin, but I have to say, after a few years of ownership and a pickup truck's life, you're probably going to be thankful for those hardy, more durable materials there. Dynamically speaking, the X-Class is pretty good too. You chuck it into a bend with a bit of verve, and considering its weight and height, there's much less body roll than what you might expect. It doesn't list around like an old Spanish galley, and it feels composed, and thanks to the all-wheel drive, there's plenty of all-weather grip there too. I will say the steering's a little bit of a letdown though. It feels a bit woolly, a little imprecise, and I have to say, there's a lot of arm twirling going on when you're coming out of junctions. It's got a really slow rack, which is a bit of a disappointment. 
As a pickup truck, it's liable to have all sorts of miscellaneous thrown into the bed at the back, which measures 1.59 metres by 1.57 metres, which makes that bed actually one of the largest in the class, larger than a Volkswagen Amarok and a Ford Ranger. There's all sorts of accessories you can get. This one has a lockable cover on top, which is nice if you're going to put valuable equipment maybe in the back. But yeah, it's, it's a very usable space. The interior lighting there helps if you're working at night. An option box definitely worth ticking is the 360 degree camera, because not only is it really good for boosting visibility, but this vehicle is actually 17 feet long. So on those times where you do decide to take it to the local supermarket, it will definitely stop you running over a granny. Something else bespoke to the X350D is a series of selectable drive modes that range from Eco, which sort of dulls the power of the engine in a bit to save fuel, but also dedicated off-road modes and a sport mode, which sharpens everything up. Now, I'm sure this truck's critics will be quick to write this off as a Nissan Navara in a posh frock, but to do so would be to not give Mercedes-Benz the credit that they deserve. The truck has been thoroughly reworked and feels like a far more premium product than what the Nissan does, from the way it drives to the way it behaves whenever you're on lengthy journeys and also the way you interact with it. Everything feels more upmarket. Now, £40,000 for the X350D is pretty pricey, so it's definitely worth looking into the tax incentives your country might give you for this being a working vehicle, a commercial vehicle tax break. Businesses looking for the three-pointed star on the nose of their work truck, or even those looking for a pickup truck as a lifestyle choice, the X350D is certainly worth consideration.